Righto, in this video we will be grinding in the valves. I've got my little soccer stick, got my grinding paste. Uh, if you take the top lid off, that is for the fine grinding. If you take the bottom lid off, that is for the coarse grinding. Uh, and in the manual it says you will only need the fine grinding so that's what I'm going to use, the, the top end for the fine see so they course fine don't know how well you can see the uh, little lip there but that's what we've got to grind it does have like little shiny spots all over the place and uh, apparently we have got to keep spinning them round with the grinding paste on until they all go like a grey dual colour a bit like uh, when they've been shot blasted you know that horrible grey colour so that's what we're aiming for so let's get on with it right then so I'm going to do this one first which is one of the inlets I'm going to use a little paintbrush I'll Use the fine end like I say I'll Just put a dab on my paintbrush And uh, apparently you're not supposed to use a lot so I'm Just going to work it there all the way around the valve I did watch one of uh, Michael Weller's videos. I don't know if you're familiar with him on YouTube. So if we stick that down there, drop it into place. Yes, he's an old boy from the UK, but he lives in uh, New York, I think. I think he lives in New York. He has done for years. Newcastle bloke. Good to watch. Michael Weller. So I've got to squash that on there. Give it a few turns. But apparently we have to lift it and move it around. Oh, and it's changed already. And just keep doing that. Keep changing the position like so. And then uh, put it out. And keep checking the surfaces to make sure all the shininess has gone away. I think I might have put a bit too much on there. Uh, yes, these are made of steel. And uh, I thought this was all made of alloy, but it's not. It's got these little, what these seat onto are actually steel as well. Just like little inserts that insert into the alloy. So I'm going to keep going for a bit and I'll bring you back in when I've got a nice grey dull finish. Okay so I'm cleaning the uh, grinding paste off now. Make sure you get rid of every little trace of it. And uh, the lip on the edge seems okay but on the valve I've noticed I don't know if it's going to show up 
there's little pits. Some of them are deeper than others. That one there with my nail is, is quite deep. I don't know if it's showing up. So I don't know if it's to continue grinding until they're gone. Or just try a different valve. I think I'll just try a different valve. Yes, I'll try a different valve and then I'll be uh, back with you shortly. Right then. Yeah, we've had a go with several of the valves. But they're all looking pretty much the same. They've all got deep craters in them, really. If you put your supersonic glasses on, you can see uh, it's a bit like the moon surface. So, all sort of a little worse than others. So, I think we're going to need a new set of valves. That's the intake valves. So let's see if we have any luck with the exhaust valves. <sighs> okay then, so the very first exhaust valve I've done. The light change colour then is absolutely perfect. Which is a bit ironic because in the book it does say that inlet valves don't generate don't generate so much heat, so they don't normally wear out. <laughs> and in my case, they're the ones that are the worst. The exhaust valves that generates all the heat normally wear out. But in my case, they look well. That one looks pretty good compared to all the pitting on the other ones anyway. So, let's carry on. OK, so that's the first exhaust valve. They're quite deep scratches on. No, they're not. Not that bad. So make sure you get rid of all this paste. Very important. Make sure you clean it all the way. Okay, so when you've got all the traces of the uh, grinding paste clear, we can do our first valve. I think it's best to do them at one, one at a time so we don't get them mixed up. I think the first thing we need to do is turn the head over. But I think first we've got to put the large washer on. I need some long nose pliers for this one because that one is the most awkwardest one. So we need to drop our first washer on. That is for the small spring. We have to put our big washer on which is for the big spring just to stop the uh, friction on the aluminium now I'm a bit confused so here is the packet of the parts and there are the oil seals and some are black and some are brown which is uh, making things a bit confusing to say the least OK then so there's 8 brown ones and there's 8 black ones uh, it doesn't say anything in the manual about different coloured oil seals valve stem seals there is some marking on that you just get some stronger glasses OK, so the black ones have 
and OK. And OK. What's that noise? And the brown ones don't have any lettering on the top, but they do have lettering on the lip. And this one says 3.6, and then there's an R at the top. Anyway, leave it with me while I try and work it out. Okay then, so I've been on Google. So this guy is saying the black oil seals normally go onto the intake side and the odd colour seals go onto the exhaust. So I'll just do a bit more research before I decide that I'm going to go with what he says. Right then, so it seems like everybody's saying that the brown ones are for the exhaust black ones are for the intake. Uh, they're normally all black but the uh, odd colour ones are to withstand more heat. So I think I'll go with that. Use the black ones for the fuel and the uh, brown ones for the exit. So let's get on with it. And uh, yes, that's all going to be good fun, isn't it? Let's be doing this one first. Should show you on that one, should I? It's a bit a lot easier. Okay, make sure everything's seated correctly. And then we want our brown seal. To see in the book, give it plenty of oil. So I'll just put a dab of oil on it. And uh, try and get it on. Uh, it's not going to be very easy, is it, with that one? It's going to be very easy with my sausage fingers. Not very easy at all. Okay, try again. Try and get it on there. Virtually impossible. Uh, this might take me some time, so I'll switch you back on when I'm in position. Let me try with a different hook tool. Oh my god. There, so we've got it on there. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now I've got to try and push it over my finger. Okay, so is that on then or what? I think that's it. I didn't hear a click, but... I certainly won't press on anymore. So that's on. And we can put some oil on our uh, valve stem. Is that the right one? No. On the right valve stem, which is that one. Okay. 
I'm just going to have to lift the head up so I can locate the hole. May as well just turn it over, hadn't I? Just going to tilt the head so I can locate the hole. And uh, Do what? I got this all wrong, haven't I? Well, looks like I've got this all wrong. Because, <laughs> uh, as you know, I'm a dickhead. Oh, God. What a plonker. Yes, I've got it all wrong. Okay, so these, what I thought was the exhaust valves, are not the exhaust valves, they're the intake valves. So the book was right. <laughs> oh my god. And the smaller ones are the exhaust valves. So I put the oil seal on the wrong one anyway. And how the fuck I am going to get that off, I do not know. <sighs> God. How the hell are you going to get that off, Johnny? So we've come to a bit of a disaster already. Or have we? No, we haven't. Oh, bloody hell, my brain is pathetic. No, that is the exhaust valve. So I've got it on the right one. Just that I should be working on the intake valve, which is this side. So luckily I haven't got to take that off again because it's on the right one. <sighs> Disaster averted. Okay, so these are the exhaust valves. This no, these are the bigger valves this side, so I want the black seals. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but you're confused. I'm bloody confused. It don't take a lot, does it? That's because these carburetors go on there, so they've got to be the intake. But the exhaust go on there, so they've got to be the exhaust. So the bigger valves are the intake valves. Oh, could you imagine if I was a mechanic doing this for a living? <coughs> uh, how long do you think it'll take you, mate? How long's a piece of rope? So yes, all I can see is when your brain starts to go all mushy, pack up and leave it for another day. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another life, brother.